to enable that org presents mathematical literacy, tariff systems, public transport. The bus. Right, so this is a, a golden arrows a golden arrow services. Um, it is about the fare increase uh, that was um, f uh, from thirtieth of December two thousand and thirteen. Um, it just gives you a little bit of information. It says the fees are increased with 8.65% by 30 December. Um, I just say why it's increasing. It's because the subsidy is not that great anymore and they've added 75 new buses that they have to pay for. Then it says passengers using a 10 ride clip cards, which are valid for 14 days. Uh, can postpone paying the increased fees until the 12th January 2014 by purchasing the clip, uh, clip cards by the 29th of December. So that's passed. Passengers making use of monthly clip cards valid 37 days may be able to avoid the increase until the 4th of February by purchasing the clip cards on the 29th of December. Um, Golden Arrow continues to strive to provide highest quality services possible to its passengers and despite the increased bus travel remains a valuable um, public transport alternative to traveling by private vehicle a viable. A schedule, a schedule with details of scheduled fares can be found below. Alternatively, new fares can be obtained. Right, so if you're traveling from Atlantis to Cape Town, if you have a with the current clip card, you pay 15 rand 80 cents, but with the new clip card, you have to pay 17 rand 40. Um, per trip, it's 35 rand 35 cents currently, and it will the new price will remain the same. From let's say to travel from Boetasig to Cape Town, it's 8 rand 50 with the current clip card, and with the new clip card, it's 9 rand 30. Uh, per Per bus ride, fifteen rand eighty, but it will increase to seven rand twenty. <coughs> From Kloofnek to Cape Town, it's five rand fifty, and it will increase to five rand ninety with a clip card, seven rand twenty currently, and it will change to seven rand eighty. Pensioners currently have to pay four rand eighty with a clip card. Um, with a new clip card, it will increase to five rand per trip. And scholars under 17 will always have to pay 11 rand 40 per trip and 12 rand 55. Uh, all right, so sometimes you'll see that um, it will be cheaper for a scholar to just pay, get a normal clip card and not, and not use a scholar clip card of God if they travel the shorter distances. Okay, so this is how we would read this and I can ask you uh, questions like how much does it cost to travel from Blue Downs to Weinberg without a clip card and you, then you'll just go across and you see oh well 25 Rand. Right, this is um, another part of the Metro, uh, uh, sorry this is about the Metro bus fare. Now they have different uh, zones with the metro buses and it's also a tariff increase, 5% for cash, 7% increase for coupons. Uh, the cash fare in stage 1 is 8 rand 70 um, monthly, a 52 trip monthly will be 320 cents. 44 trip will be 250, uh, 254 rand 10 cents. Weekly it's 8 rand 70. 12 trip weekly is um, 69 rand 20. And a 10 trip weekly is 57 rand 20. Um, uh, 57 rand 70. Scholars will okay, pay a little bit less. And pensioners also pay a little less. So I can, you can be asked any question. But let's quickly calculate <coughs> who. Um, let's quickly let's close this and that, and we view Zoom 
a little bit. Okay, cancel. I'm going to zoom this to 200%. Okay, let's quickly calculate how much a text box. How much does it cost for a scholar per trip if they pay um, if they pay f this 531 and 10 cents. So we take 531 and 10 cents and we divide it by um, 130. And let's see how much it cost per trip if I buy the 130 trip and I'm a scholar. 531 and 10 cents divided by 130. So it cost you 4 rand and 9 cents. This is a rounded, rounded amount. Okay, let's just do the rounded equals. Simple. There's the rounded equals. See, almost equal to. So it's more or less four and nine cents. If you're a scholar in the f in zone A, see it's the first zone that we're doing calculations, and you're using the forty-four trip card, you'll pay hundred and seventy-seven rand eighty cents, and we divide it by forty-four. Then you pay per trip, almost equal to, oops, um, uh, 177 rand 80 divided by 44. Then per trip you will pay 4 rand and 4 cents. Oh, it's slightly cheaper to buy a 44 trip card. Hmm. And a 10 trip card, that is easy. It's 40 rand 50 cents and we divide it by 10 see this is a weekly this is a weekly trip because there's five days and you go to school and back um, we just cover the one naught so it will be four rand and five cents that is exactly equal to equal to four rand and five cents. Do you see that it is cheapest with by one cent to buy a forty four trip um a forty four tr trip card and a ten trip card is four and five cents. But I think that this includes weekends as well. So they can tra travel over the weekends. That's why it's a little bit more expensive. Okay, so you can be asked questions like how much does it cost per trip to have a ten trip card for a scholar? Is it cheaper? Um, let's quickly see this column. Uh, the cash fare, fare and the stored value. So the cash fare for this um, zone, it's six rand twenty per trip, but it's much cheaper if you um, have a have a have a clip card, right? Um, let's go view. Fit to window again. Um, right trains. Now this uh, is a how train, how train. Um, uh, the the phase of the how train from the first of June two thousand and thirteen. This is just zoomed in. So from Hatfield. Um, Pay as you go a single fare from Hatfield to Rosebank. We go across Ro uh, Hatfield to Rosebank is 53 Rand. From Park Station to Centurion it's 47 Rand. Do you see how this scale works? So you go across and down from Centurion to Sandton it's 41 Rand. And the reason why these blocks are colored is. You can't go from Hatfield to Hatfield. It will actually be free. 
Alright, let's see which is the most expensive car. There's a 57 Rand card. And it looks from Park Station to Hatfield is the most expensive trip. The cheapest trip, if you just quickly want to go on the car train for Joyride, is from Marlborough Station to Santon. Or from Hatfield to Pretoria. Or from Santon to Rosebank. Or from Rosebank to Park Station. Those are all 21 Rand tickets. Uh, during the off-peak time, it says before 6 o'clock in the morning, between 9 and 3 in the afternoons, and after 6, it's not valid over weekends and public holidays. Um, it's not valid for travel to or from Oratambo Airport. It's not valid for buses, and it's not valid for parking. But it is cheaper to travel during the week between 9 and 3, it's 15% less. So 18 Rand is from Pretoria to Hatfield. And which was the most expensive one? This from Park Station to Hatfield will be 49 Rand. Okay, so you can read the whole off peak one. And then the seven day train pass, uh, you'll save. 7% uh, it says the 7 day train pass gives 10, 10 single trips between any two pre chosen stations um, so I didn't copy that but Pretoria is the next one from Hatfield to Pretoria is 189 Rand which will be 18 Rand 90 cents per trip because you just divide by 10 Okay, so it's a little bit cheaper and the next one S the, here's the train pass. Let's see what it says. The seven-day train pass gives you 10 single trips between any two pre-chosen destination. You must start using the pass within seven days of purchase and the pass will expire seven days after the first usage even if you haven't used all the available trips. Uh, unused trips are non-refundable. Remember to add enough pay as you go value for your parking and bus fare. Okay, a 35-day pass. The 35-day pass gives you 44 single trips. So it's 22 days uh, between any two pre-chosen destinations. You must start using the pass within 7 days of purchase. The pass will expire 35 days after the first usage, even if you haven't used all the available trips. Unused trips are non-refundable. Remember to add enough pays you go value for your parking and bus fare. Um, if you have a 7 day or 35 day pass you buy, but then complete a different train journey, please refer to the website. Alright, so there will, go, there, uh, will be a completely different thing. So let's do the Hatfield Pretoria one. 740 Rand. If we go 740, divide by 30, uh, 44, you will pay 16 Rand 81 per trip. Which is a little expensive still. Um, the most expensive one, wasn't it? Park to Marlborough? No. Park Stage Rose? No. What was that? This one. 171886. Rosebank to Hatfield. 1866. Remember, it was 57 Rand, I think. So 1866 divide by 44. It would be 42 Rand 41 cents. Okay, so these are the different options if you travel with a Gau train. Still much cheaper than to do a down payment on a car, pay the um, fuel cost, your time that you spend in traffic, um, insurance on a car, what else is added to that? Um, insurance, down payment and fuel costs. This is also much less stressful. You can work a bit or listen to music and uh, read a bit when you're on the train. So I think trains uh, are a very good option. They're just not always very reliable. Right, thank you very much.